Hello everybody and welcome back to Steve's Gear. And today we're gonna to take a quick look at a new item that I'm pretty excited for. So these are Sabbath Heat battery heated gloves. Now, I don't know where you guys live, but where I live, uh, you know, winters get pretty bad. You know, we get a lot of snow, we get a lot of freezing days. Uh, just yesterday when I went to work, the temperature was 27 degrees with a real feel of 21 for the wind. So winter's already sneaking up on me. And I'm a big dude, like I grew up in this, I can handle the cold, you know, I can wear a sweatshirt and jeans and be good pretty much year round. But my hands, my hands are always cold. Um, especially I work a lot outside. I probably do 30 or 40% of my work is outdoors. So these heated gloves are going to get a lot of use. So I was very, very excited when they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to check them out. So I just want to kind of share them with you guys. Maybe it's something you're in the market for, or maybe it's something you didn't even know really existed like me, and it'd be work good for you. So let's take a look at the box real quick, and then we'll get into the gloves. So taking a look at the box, it's kind of a reflective type box. So I don't know how well it'll show up on camera, but just have a quick few basic specs there. So these are quick heating. Each glove has a 2,500 milliamp hour battery, uh, uniform heating on the gloves, and a splash proof design. There's a few more specs down here on the bottom, and on the side you get a few kind of uh, bullet points there, and then on the back you do get a few more along there. Now they're available in small, medium, large, extra large, and 2XL. I have the extra large version, and they fit me really, really well. Uh, four heat settings, and then it has a few contents of the box, which we'll go over here in just a second. So these gloves come in right now at $69.99. Um, you know, not the most inexpensive gloves in the world, but if you've ever shot for snow gloves, you know that sometimes they can be a lot more than that, and they're not even heated. So these might be, still be a great value for you. Now inside the box, you obviously get the gloves. You get the charger. Now it's kind of a proprietary type charger, but the good thing is it comes with two leads, so you can charge both batteries at the same time. Get them all charged up, ready to go for the day. And then you get the instruction manual in the box, which is nice because it does give you a lot of these specs, like the you know the heating settings and things like that, which you might want to take a look at you know, when you get it. Um, we'll go over some of that during the video. So taking a look at the gloves, they are well-crafted gloves. I do like them. You know, I've handled a decent amount of snow gloves, and these ones seem like they're pretty durable, and they're going to hold up a pretty long time. So you get kind of a synthetic leather through different areas of the gloves, kind of through the back here. Um, you get it to run into the fingertips on both sides, which is kind of nice. Gives you a little bit extra durability. You kind of get a suede material here on the palm area, which is nice. It gives you a little bit more flexibility uh, with the glove. And you also get it there on the fingertip, which is nice because it lets you use your uh, touchscreen device. Now you do get a Velcro strap here in the back to kind of cinch it up if you need a little bit more adjustability on that. And then the back has a, oh, kind of like a little nylon material that you can actually um, draw a string together, kind of to keep a little bit of water tight. If you're in some deep snow or something, you don't want snow leaking into your, um, into your glove, that'll kind of help with that. Now here on the back of the glove is also where the business end is for the battery. So kind of on the wrist side of the glove is where the battery is held. Inside here, you can see that it does have the extra large tag and there's a little, little normal tag there. But there's a zipper, so what we'll do is we'll unzip this and then you can pull out the battery, which is, um, like I said, 2,500 milliamp hours. It's attached to this little cable here. You just unplug it and then you can plug both of these into the charger. But it's nice and sealed up, so it should be pretty shock resistant and uh, weather resistant as well, which is a nice touch. Plug it back in, stick it back into the glove. Now I have noticed with the zipper, um, you know, you do have to kind of get everything kind of just situated just right in there. I mean, there's plenty of room to put the battery in and everything, but you kind of want to pull the zipper, um, you know, kind of together when you zip it up and then it zips up just fine. So putting the glove on, fits great. As they say, fits like a glove. So, um, yeah, I get pretty good dexterity on it. Now, obviously, snow gloves, you're going to lose some dexterity. I mean, it's just kind of the name of the game. But they are comfortable, and, you know, they are insulated, so I can already feel a little bit of warmth just by putting the gloves on. Um, you know, I can still maneuver my fingers really well. Um, yeah, it'll work out pretty good. Now, that battery pack does sit, like I said, down here on your wrist area, but I like that because when I move my hand around and stuff, I don't feel it. I don't feel that battery pack at all. Um, you know, it's better than being on the top side or something like that. So I like that. I like how they have it set up. Now the power button is located here on the top of your hand. Just turn it on. You basically just hold it down for about two seconds and it'll power on. And then you get your battery indicator here. So you get three bars. So mine are pretty much all the way charged up. And then you get a colored indicator here, kind of your battery level. 
And I can already feel the heat starting to pump into this glove. So red is the highest setting. So the highest setting on these gloves is 140 degrees. You get about two and a half hours of runtime on that. Push it again, you go down to the purple mode, which is 131 degrees, and you get about three and a half hours of runtime on that. Push it one more time, you get green, which is 122 degrees with five hours of runtime. And then the last setting is just the white setting, and you get 113 degrees for six and a half hours of runtime. So for me, I think that white mode is going to be pretty good. Uh, six and a half hours will cover easily my day of how much time I'm outside while I'm working. And it's a nice amount of heat to just keep your hands warm. Um, you know, like I said, the gloves are already insulated, but this gives you a little bit extra. And I can already feel that pretty much the whole back of the glove is warmed up. I can feel some heat on my thumb. I can feel some heat on my fingers. So it feels nice. You know, it's, it's going to be nice. I'm looking forward to using these, especially in the mornings when I have to scrape all the snow and the ice off my windshield. These are going to be awesome. Um, so super pumped for that. And then to turn them off, you just basically hold down the button for about two seconds and they power off. So nice glove. Um, yeah, I think they're definitely worth checking out. I'm excited. I'm probably going to use them. I'll probably start using them next week, just depending on how the weather turns out. That's a little bipolar around here. It could be 70 degrees next week. It could be 20 degrees. I, we don't really know. <laughs> so but yeah, that's a quick look at the Sabbath heat, heat battery heated gloves. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you've ever owned these, let me know how you like them. Uh, if you guys are a fan of, have ever heard of Project Farm, uh, he actually did a video on heated gloves, a test of them, and these ones actually won. So they are good gloves. You know, I do trust what he says also. So that's pretty exciting. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you later.